you're gone. I know I'm supposed to be thankful for everything, but January, oh, it's cold and dark, and it just seems like nothing fun ever happens. So when Mr. Parks told me he was gonna be out for the rest of the month, and someone needed to get up early and make sure the front doors were unlocked, I started thinking who could do all that. And he said, I should be the one. He picked me not only to open the doors, but to stay and greet everyone as I came in. He said I was a responsible guy, and he wanted to see me grow into this opportunity. I have no idea what he meant. All I knew is that in the worst month, I had to get up even earlier, take the key he gave me, open the door, and wait on people to get there. At first it was tough. I was sleepy. But after the first week, it got a lot easier. It turned out that the weather wasn't so bad. That one quiet kid turned out to be fun. His name is Benjamin. And I tried to help everyone else start their day with something good. It started to be fun. And even when someone's day started out bad, I tried to do whatever I could to get it back on track. Next week, Mr. Parks comes back. I'm supposed to give him the key back. But God, what would you think if I asked him to be the greeter for another month? Your friend, Dean. <laughs> the nerve of people. I ordered chicken tenders with, with sweet potato fries and then I open up the bag and there's waffle fries. I do not like waffles as much as I do not like being misunderstood. <laughs> or being ignored. What? 
I was talking about my pet peeves. Oh. Oh, I have a pet peeve. Oh yeah, what is it? A gerbil. Yeah. You don't like gerbils? No, I love them. Pet peeves aren't something that you love. Why not? Well, because because they frustrate you. Yeah, my pet peeve can be frustrating. Exactly. Pet peeves are the worst. How many do you have? I don't know, a hundred? A hundred? <laughs> Where do you put all of them? I only have one. You only have one pet peeve? Yeah, I, yeah. I find that hard to believe. No, no, look. Here he is. See, that's my gerbil, peeves. <laughs> no! That is not what I'm talking about! Being misunderstood is my pet peeve! Ah! Oh, oh, this is where he puts a whole strawberry in one cheek. Look. Cat, I love that you're, you've got to be, you've cat to be kitten me right meow. <laughs> That's hilarious. Hey everyone, I'm John. I'm, I'm Brandon. And you're watching The, the So-and-So so -and -so Show. Oh, today we have a very special guest with us. Oh, stop. Not you. Oh. Not that you're not special. You are very special oh. to me. Okay. I should say that we have a new guest with us today. Today we're talking about using our words wisely, which I didn't do just now. You sure didn't. And neither did you just now. I'm sorry. Apology accepted. See, words are powerful. Uh, they can make us feel or act a certain way. So our special guest is here to help demonstrate what that looks like. Mm. And he's brought a little buddy along with him. Please welcome someone who knows stuff. <laughs> Hey, how you are, are so you? Cute. Who is this? Come here, little Look girl. At this. this is Emmy. Come, hey, Emmy, wow. come here, little girl. Oh, you are, so you are so sweet. You are so sweet. You oh. are so sweet. You oh. are so sweet. I'm sorry, we got oh, distracted. Yes, we Welcome guest. to the show. Uh, please tell us who you are and what you know. Hey, my name's Skip, and I train service dogs. That is awesome. <laughs> Sit. Oh, sorry. Good job. Oh, sorry. <laughs> You're talking to her. <laughs> How'd you do that? Well, I trained her by using a combination of treats uh -huh. and a signal word. Oh. And words are very powerful, as you know. Yes, we know. Yeah, you just told her to do that, and she did it. Yeah. Not at first, though. Oh. I mean, training a dog is all about positive reinforcement, mm. which is when you reward someone for correct behavior. Oh, okay. oh. And so I like to use treats and encouraging words. OK. So take, for instance, Emmy, come here. Up. Let's say I'm trying to teach her a new trick, all right? And I say, hey, Emmy, give me two. Yeah. Oh, wow, that's awesome. But at first, she couldn't do it. Yeah. So I had to use a combination of treats and showing her what I wanted her to do. Emmy, give me two. Over oh. and over and over again. Good girl. That is wow. really Until she really finally good. got it. Yeah. That so, is awesome. So that you're works. Using, you're using positive words and treats to encourage her behavior, right? Exactly. That's cool. I should try that with you. I do love a treat. <laughs> <laughs> no. Down. What just happened? Good girl. Well, she was barking to get a treat, which is behavior that I do not want to encourage. Mm. I actually want to discourage it. Sure. So I didn't give her a treat this time. However, I did give her a stern no as negative reinforcement. Nobody likes being told no. I sure don't. Yeah. And so when she got quiet, I gave her a positive word to reinforce that behavior. Oh. What Good a great girl. example of how powerful our words can be. They can literally make us do or not do anything. Yeah, yeah exactly. Ooh, do you guys want to try? Uh, yes. yes, 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 yes. Awesome. Yes. All right, we'll start with you. Oh, all right. Thanks. So uh, you stay here. I'll take Emmy over here. Come here. Now, Brandon, why don't you show her the treat? Okay. See? All right. And then I want you to take one step back. And every time you take a step back, I want you to say stay. Okay. All right. Here we go. Stay. Stay, stay, okay, now what? Now put the treat on the floor, but tell her to stay still. Stay. Good girl, <laughs> all right, that's great. Good that's girl. awesome. Okay, my turn, my turn, my turn, my turn. Ooh, okay, I got an awesome trick for you. This is one of my favorites, all right? Take her treat. Okay. Okay. And I want you to get down on her level. Okay. All right. So your faces are really close. And I want you to put the treat in between your two faces. Okay. okay. But then I want you to say kisses 
and pull it away. Okay. Let's see what she does. All right. Here okay. we go. Here we go. Here we go. Kisses. 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 Oh, sweetie. Good girl. Oh, Thank you. Good girl. Ugh. Yeah, I should teach Peeve that one. <laughs> yeah, well, thank you so much for joining us yeah. and teaching us the power of words. Yeah, hey. that was incredible. That My was incredible. Pleasure. Your dog is so good sweet. Girl. Yeah, My good pleasure. girl. Thank you for coming. Thanks too. for coming, girl. Emmy. Thank you. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Bye, Emmy. <laughs> <laughs> it's Bible story time. Hey, fellas. Hey there. Hey. You want to see a neat trick? Okay, watch this. High five. Oh. High five. Oh, nice try. Nice try. There oh. you go. Mm -hmm. Impressive. Oh, well, not as impressive as the verse you have for us to learn. That's true. Take it away. Mm. You bet. Today's verse comes from the book of Ephesians, chapter 4, verse 29. The Apostle Paul wrote, Don't let any evil talk come out of your mouths. Say only what will help to build others up and meet their needs. Then what you say will help those who listen. Our words are important and powerful. So let's check in with our friends Becky and Bethilda to see how they are at controlling their words. Becky and Bethilda are both celebrating their birthdays with family and friends. Their parents even bought their favorite cupcakes from their favorite bakery. Hey, no! Vanilla! Vanilla! My favorite! Thank you yes. so much, Mom! <laughs> <laughs> oh! oh! <clears throat> okay. Or so they thought. Coconut? <laughs> you bought me coconut? I despise coconut! How could you? All of you! Happy birthday, How could you happy have birthday, such liver brains? You ruined my birthday! <laughs> Whoa! Bethilda said some very unkind words there. Even if you think you have a reason to be angry, it's always better to be kind when someone, like your parents, make a mistake. Lashing out at them doesn't show respect and could even get you into trouble. Let's see if Becky reacts differently. I think that might have been a coconut cupcake, which isn't really my favorite, but you know, you went all the way to my favorite bakery, which is like 30 minutes away, so thank you so much, I appreciate that. Maybe next time I could just go with you, yeah? Here, um, would you like the rest? Do you want the rest? I would hate to see it go to waste. Becky was kind to her parents, even when they made a mistake. She didn't tear them down or scold them. She saw the effort they put into making her birthday special and made a plan of action to support them the next time. Now, it's easy to say mean things when we're frustrated, but what about other times? Becky is rehearsing her audition for the school's spring musical, and Bethilda has offered to watch and give advice. How could you say such terrible things to me? I do, you know what you've done? I had hoped there was kindness in this world, but now I'm, now I'm not so sure. <sighs> you know, not everyone can be a star overnight. Certainly not you. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> But seriously, I can't say it's your worst work because I've seen you do worse last year. You mean the fall play? Yeah, that was atrocious. <laughs> Listen, you may not get the part, but there's always next year. Maybe. Probably not. Again, Bethilda didn't exactly use her words wisely. She may have thought she was being honest, but she wasn't being kind or supportive. Let's see how Becky responds. Bethilda! Look, sometimes you can be blunt with your words. And sometimes I think that you don't care about my feelings. Oh. Look, I like that you're honest. It's one of the things that I admire about you. But, you know, maybe you could just be kinder with your words next time, okay? Okay. I'll try. Okay. Now that's another way to use your words wisely. Becky didn't give Bethilda a taste of her own medicine. 
She was kind, encouraging, and truthful. She stood up for herself in a way that wasn't mean or hurtful. Let's take a look at that verse one more time. Don't let any evil talk come out of your mouths. Say only what will help to build others up and meet their needs. Then what you say will help those who listen. Ephesians 4, verse 29. All right, good job. Oh, thank you. Those can't be good for you. Hey, only encouraging words allowed. I encourage you to stop eating those trees. No. I'll take you back. Maybe they're tasty. Good job. Oh, good wow. job. I'm good. I'll catch you next time. Later. You know, my stomach is hurting a little bit. Maybe we should switch to a different treat. No! <laughs> Reveal the question! Um, why, why do your words matter? Well, obviously they can hurt someone's feelings if they're too harsh. Mm, but they can also make you feel good if someone pays you a compliment. Yeah, also it's important to be clear with our words so that we don't get misunderstood. Yeah, like who names their pet peeve? Oh, I have one. I know! You know one of my pet peeves is when people confuse my pet peeve for my pet peeve. Talk about it together. Why do your words matter? Yeah, and we'll see you next time on The So-and-So Show! Do you have any other pets? Yes, I have um, uh, a, another uh, pet. His name is Name, a little pet name. I have a, I have one named Project. Can you shake? Can you shake? Can you good, shake? good girl. Okay, yeah, right. me, good me, boy, good. Give me two. Good. Yeah. Can, give me, give me two. Down. Give me two. Down. Two, down. come on. All right. Good. Good. Down. 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 Okay. Down. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Good girl, kitty. Get it. Oh man. Well, yeah. now I just have to leave it. You gonna try again? Yeah. Good girl. Ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Is it? Good girl. Good. Good boy. Amy, lay down. John, down. Ah, lay down. down. Lay down. Good. Girl. Lay down. Hey, come on. Oh. 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 Kisses, 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 no nibbles, kisses, kisses. Oh, come here. You are so sweet. <laughs>